What's up everyone, this is I Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you a glitch I found that actually lets you place the apps wherever you want on your home screen without using that app shortcut glitch. Let's get started. So I actually ended up making a video on this a while back, but no one really saw it, so I decided to make it again because it actually still works in iOS 11 and 10. So what's really cool about this glitch is that you can still open up apps and folders and the glitch doesn't get affected at all. So what's different about this glitch from the other one where you can use the app shortcuts as part of the wallpaper and place apps where you want is that this actually uses reachability. So we want to go to settings general scroll down until you see accessibilities and then scroll down again until you see reachability and then go ahead and turn that on so once this is on what you're going to want to do is go ahead and toggle reachability over and over and over again until the apps are at the bottom and once you see them at the bottom you want to click your home button now this is actually very frustrating to do because i constantly keep messing up and after like 10 or 11 tries i got it but you want to keep toggling reachability and then click the home button at the last second and you want to make sure the apps are in the middle of the home screen when you click the home button so it's kind of odd but you can see the last two taps it ended and the apps are in the middle of the home screen as i click the home button and now you can see i open up apps and it stays like that whereas the normal reachability would only let you open up one app and then it would just go back to normal whereas this it stays the way it is so what I recommend you don't do is have four rows of app icons just because the app name will get cut off by the dock unless you remove the dock using the other glitch I found a while back. So that is pretty cool if you combine all the iOS glitches you know into like your home screen. It looks really cool. And if you really want to customize your iPhone, you could use one of those wallpapers that are black and then have like those themes on your iOS device with like the black border so the apps look like they're different shapes. So it's really cool. So this glitch does take a while to toggle, so keep trying and trying, but trust me, you will get it to work. And keep in mind, you really want rotation lock turned on because if rotation lock is turned off and you have like a 6 plus or something like that, and tilt your device, you will have to replicate this glitch again, so it takes forever. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, hopefully you guys enjoy the glitch. That's just another way you can customize your iDevice on iOS 10 and 11. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.